on me. Lead. Lead. <laughs> this Mohawk ain't working out on TV. Hey, welcome to the Chill Spot. Good morning. Good. We're back. <laughs> we are. We <laughs> are. What is it? It's July 31st. And do you know what today is? Gary's birthday. That's right. Our director of CNA TV, <laughs> our producer. He's our everything. He's our Gilmore, right? He is. No, it's Gilman. Gilman. Gilman okay. off of, uh, is, he, is Gilman still on, Kathy, and whoever the hell she's got on these days? I don't think so. I what never really watched What is it, really Kathy, you. Mike, or Ryan. Kelly, Ryan. Kelly, Ryan. Kelly and Ryan now? No, it's, yeah. Ryan Seacrest, I think, is his name. So she just can't keep a co-host, can she? No. So well, you're on your second <laughs> one, so I'm not sure you can either. I know. Happy birthday, Gary! <laughs> Goodness sakes, let's get the yes. show on the road. <clears throat> um, today we're going to be talking about um, a subject that I think is a problem in a lot of um, facilities. And have you ever heard the phrase "That's not my job"? Yeah, it's kind of uh, happens all the time in in long term care. Yeah, oh, that's not my resident. That's not my job. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I would have to take my shoes off to count on my toes, plus take your shoes off of how many times I have heard that um, over the years. Um, I can honestly say I have never. <laughs> my shoes already <laughs> off. I can honestly say I have never said it. But I felt it in certain situations. My shoe fell off. I gotta get it. <laughs> not me. That's the title of today's show is not me. me. That's right. Isn't that right, Corinne? Yep. So when you work in um, the healthcare world, your mindset needs to be team and teamwork. Um, you know, don't try to get even with your coworkers, your co-hosts for taking our sheets <laughs> Because the only people that's going to suffer is your residents, your patients, and your clients that you deal with on an everyday basis. Absolutely. Yeah. This shirt makes me look huge. Look at this. Remember it adds like 10, 20 pounds? I said you? 50 pounds, I think. <laughs> I'm, when I looked in the mirror earlier, I thought I looked pretty good. And I get down here on that's July true. 31st and I'm not gussied up for Gary's birthday or anything. We have to start taking responsibility. We yes. cannot be not me people. Right. Uh, people's lives depend on it. Exactly. Corinne brought in a great poem this morning to be used mm -hmm. for the show. And um, I did have to take remedial reading in the sixth <laughs> grade, so I'm not that great of a reader. So uh, bear with me because she's asked me to read this poem. Yes. And I think it's pretty cute and mm -hmm. it's a tongue twister. So uh, bear with me. <clears throat> this is a story about four people named everybody, somebody, anybody, and nobody. There was an important job to be done, and everybody was sure that somebody would do it. Anybody could have done it, but nobody did it. Somebody got angry about that because it was everybody's job. Everybody realized that everybody wouldn't do it. It ended up that everybody blamed somebody when nobody did what anybody could have done. So I think about this the other day. I was in one of our care centers, uh, and um, I noticed that uh, the uh, <clears throat> director of nurses was uh, walking down uh, in a room, uh, past a room, and she could have easily just kept on walking. And I mean, it wasn't a big, huge deal, but there was a Kleenex on the floor in, in one of the resident rooms. She didn't call somebody to come get the Kleenex. She reached over, picked up the Kleenex, and disposed of it. Yeah. But I often also see situations, and, and part of it is I think people just really aren't aware. We get these blinders on, kind of like tunnel vision, mm -hmm. and we're in our world. Right. So not long ago, I saw a director at, tell the CNA, pick up that trash. Well, it hit the CNA wrong. It would have hit me wrong. Uh, plus, she walked over the trash to tell somebody else to pick up the trash. But I also believe that sometimes here at NACA, 
I will be really engaged in something. I'm on purpose. I, I, I've got to get this done. My mind's on this. And I probably walked past five things that I could have taken care of, but I wasn't noticing what noticing. was going on around me. I had no concept. I just was on track to do what I set out to do. So we also have to give each other a break sometimes too. But yes. this poem I think is is really pointed in the fact that anybody, nobody, somebody, everybody, uh, we can all do something. Right. Look around, be aware. Mm -hmm. Don't say not me. Right. Say me, I yeah. got it. I'll Even if it. it's just a small thing you can do to help out, like you mentioned, the Kleenex and stuff. You know, some CNAs are going to go tell a housekeeper. You know, well, instead of go telling the housekeeper, just take the responsibility and be that somebody that, that did that job that anybody could do. You know, so just think about all this stuff and think about the, the poem. Um, it, it really opens your eyes up to a lot of things, you know, by reading that poem Absolutely. and different jobs. Help so. each other. Look around. Yep. Uh, I posted a few weeks back on my Facebook, don't ask what we need. Mm -hmm. People don't ask for their needs. Look around and see what needs done. Right. And yeah. do it. That's all there is to it. Look around for what needs done and do it. That's my exactly. motto. Exactly. At least for <laughs> July 31st, Gary's birthday, that's my motto. <laughs> So, um, happy birthday again to you, um, Gary, and come back and see Lori and I um, on the next Chill Spot. And remember, you matter. You matter.